And people were making love at night. We Osho Osho encouraged people not to repress their sexuality. Three months after he came to the ranch, there was an INS investigation that was started. He always pissed off the priests and the politicians by calling them hypocrites, et cetera, et cetera. Liars, thieves, what they were, actually. Within that same time frame, just a couple months, the uh, governor of Oregon said that if the neighbors didn't like us, we should go. The, the neighbors freaked out. They talked about constant fucking going on in the rooms because we had some people living in, in the town of Antelope. Uh-huh. Our ranch was 26 miles. It was 110,000 acres, 26 miles from the city of Antelope, which had 43 people in the last census, and it was officially a ghost town. So ghost um, town, and you were far away from the nearest person. It, yeah. Anyways, with and, that large of a ranch. And we bought some property because they wanted us not to have business stuff at the ranch, but to do it at, within an urban growth boundary. That's a land use issue. We might get talk about that or not today. Anyway, um, so we bought some property and some people moved in there to operate, to work on the businesses. Like they got freaked out. They said there's, you know, fucking everywhere. The fact is people were just holding hands and hugging on the out, uh, anything out of doors. Mm-hmm. We were a loving group, you know, and people were touching each other and I mean, just in a hugging way, you know, nothing. And people were making love at night. We, Osho, Osho encouraged people not to repress their sexuality. Mm-hmm. Because he, as he pointed out, it wasn't that he, he used to joke. He said, uh, I've written 300 books, 298 on meditation and two on sexuality. And they call me the sex guru. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Press that little button, the red one, you know, the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. <laughs> he talked about our obsession with sex in our culture. But he said, we do, he said, if you repress any energy, including sexual energy, we only have one kind of energy. We don't have sexual energy and football energy or whatever. We got one energy. Yeah. And the most basic is, is sexual, it's down here. Yeah. If we repress that, we're cutting ourselves off from our energy. So he said, you have to allow that energy to move so your energy can rise mm-hmm. and rise to the higher chakra and open up your awareness, open up your consciousness. Anyway, they totally freaked out. It turned out, I found out later, they were complaining about this fucking sounds of it. It's because some guy who lived there who was against us was going and standing at windows and listening at night. <laughs> and hearing people. Now you tell me who's weird. The people in their bedrooms or this redneck who's coming in to listen at windows. Anyway, it was all crazy. It was a crazy time. So I was a lawyer. I was involved. We had a bunch of cases. We would have won them all, but the United States government, you know, if the United States government decide to get you, they're probably going to get you. Yeah. They got the resources, et cetera, et cetera. And they're willing to break their own laws when they need to, right? We've all seen that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, so, uh, we eventually made a deal for him to leave the United States, uh, because of criminal stuff they were throwing. If we get into it, they were really violating their own laws, but I advised him to go there. I just didn't feel like we could protect him in the United States against the U.S. government. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have... Amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.